Bernie Sanders, along with Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Richard Blumenthal, Chris Murphy, and Kirsten Gillibrand, and actually Keith Ellison, too, proposed the College for All Act this week. Hmm. Well, that sounds good. So it would eliminate college tuition at four-year universities for students from families that make up to $125,000 a year. Uh, the plan would cost $600 billion. How do you pay for You can't afford that. How do you pay for that? Uh, it would be financed by a tax on Wall Street speculation. Uh, the government would pay 67% of tuition subsidies. State governments would be required to pay the other third. Uh, and students would be able to refinance existing loans at lower rates. Now, here's the most important part of the story. When Bernie introduced similar legislation in 2015, he had, I'm not kidding, zero co-sponsors. Zero co-sponsors. Right now, like I said, Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Richard Blumenthal, Chris Murphy, Kirsten Gillibrand, Keith Ellison. And I might even be missing others. Maybe it's gone up since I've seen this, or maybe this article didn't put all of them in there. So let's be clear about why some of them are doing it. Now, some of them are progressive enough. They're not full-on progressive, but they're progressive enough, and they're, they're actually genuine and will respond to the will of the people. I put Elizabeth Warren in that category. I know a lot of us, inclu uh, including me, man, we're, I'm, I'm mad at the, what happened during the primary and everything. Um, but I do think if it actually came down to a vote on this, of course Elizabeth Warren would vote for the, you know, the College for All Act, and she's on the right side of it. Some of these people, I think, are being opportunists, and they're corporate Democrats, and they figure, hey, there's no harm in this because it's not going to pass anyway right now because we don't have the numbers, so let me be on the side of it. The people I put in that category are... Um, Richard Blumenthal, probably Kirsten Gillibrand, and definitely Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris uh, could have prosecuted Steve Mnuchin when he was foreclosing on senior citizens and his bank was committing countless crimes, one West Bank, but she didn't do it. No explanation why, by the way. So some of these people that are sponsoring it are corporate Democrats who are opportunists who are saying, hey, this isn't going to pass anyway. And maybe they have higher ambitions in terms of what, where they want to go next. Like, Kirsten Gillibrand might want to run for president, so she won't say, hey, look at my uh, super progressive record. Isn't that wonderful? Um, so I come into this with no illusions. I understand that some of them are, don't have the purest intentions. However, we also can't have it both ways. We can understand that it's a cynical ploy on their part, but if when push comes to shove, they'd actually vote for the legislation, I honestly, it's not as big of a deal because... If we get the legislation implemented, well, you know, that you were forced to this position, okay, at least, you, at least you were on the right position. So it's still, even though some of it's cynical, some of it's not, it's still a positive thing that you're having a wave of progressive and liberal legislation. Now, if I was Bernie Sanders and if I was one of the chief strategists for the Democrats, I would honestly say, hold on, pump your brakes a little bit. We just proposed single payer. Okay, we have John Conyers' bill in the House, Bernie Sanders' bill in the Senate, and it's growing in popularity. Like, the people are basically pushing Democratic representatives and saying, do it or else. Vote for it or else. Uh, JusticeDemocrats.com says single payer. Sign the petition if you haven't yet. It's actually working. Um, so they're doing that, and... I would honestly do one thing at a time. So I, when you give people, okay, let's do this, let's do single payer, and then like a week later, when single payer isn't, it hasn't been pushed sufficiently enough yet. We go, okay, now uh, free college. It's like, whoa, 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 hold on, we're we have a bandwidth issue. Like, there's only a certain number of progressives who can call their congressman on any given day and can push for a piece of legislation and say, hey, do this or else. I really, I, see, I'm, maybe I'm naive in the sense that I really think th this is an opportunity to raise consciousness and awareness about single-payer Medicare for all, about free college, that I really want to spend a lot of time and energy and, and effort on each one to the point where we scare the pants off of the Republicans and we invigorate the progressive base where we, you know, is it conceivable that the over 100 Democrats who don't support single-payer right now that we can get half, two-thirds of them who don't support it yet to support it? Yeah, yeah. If they really feel like I'm going to lose my seat if I don't do it, you bet your ass they'll do it. 
They're all, it's self-preservation to the max is what they're about. So I would honestly like to spend more time on single-payer Medicare for all, and then after we get to a point where we've pushed it sufficiently and we've won a political battle and won hearts and minds and shown to the American people we're so overwhelmingly right about this and the Republicans are wrong and the corporate Democrats are wrong, then you move on to, to free college. But now look, some people might say I'm nitpicking, and maybe you're right. You know, maybe, hey, the answer is to do the, the all at once overwhelming, you know, attack with all these different progressive pieces of legislation. I'm just saying how I would do it. But yes, either way, it's good that this uh, legislation is being put forth. I would have gone a little more progressive with it and gotten rid of the, you know, not for, hey, up, up to $125,000 a year. No, just do free college for everybody. But whatever, I know maybe some of the Dem the Democrats wouldn't have been on board who are on board if you had done that, so they water it down a little bit. Eee! Only water it down, like, this is, the, this is the maximum amount you can water it down where I'd still say, okay, you water it down a little more than this, and I'm out, and I go, this is too, no. It, sh it should just be for everybody, and enough with these weaselly provisions that kind of try to wiggle out of that. Um... So, but there you have it. Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Richard Blumenthal, Chris Murphy, Kirsten Gillibrand, Keith Ellison. Um, College for All Act has been proposed. 